So if you're still using TMAC base on your 6.6 and up builds, it might be time to reconsider that. I am shooting nearly 80% from 3 and making all sorts of ridiculously contested shots. That's allowing me to dominate in the rec even with just an 86 three ball. I mean, just take a look at the quickness and my ability to hit through contests with this new jump shot. But not only that, since putting my subscribers on to this new jump shot, they have turned their scoring to another level. Shooting nearly 75% from 3 for example. Someone even posted this ridiculous consecutive 6 game stat line while shooting nearly 80% from 3. So here's the jump shot as MPJ base, Tari Eason, and Kobe Bryant upper with the mix varying depending on whether you're 6.5 to 6.6 or 6.7 and above. So here's the build I'm using. Now even though I got a 93 midrange, I only got an 86 3 ball and here are the SIGs that I'm using with this new jump shot and it might just be time for me to give you an updated look at how I use my 6.6 and up builds. But before we get started, here's another clip from one of my subscribers and take a look at how he uses this jump shot to its best ability. Just take a look at the quickness from that left stick crossover into that quick gather. Just take a look at how quick that was to set things up with that very quick dip into that quick jump shot. This jumper just might be better than T-Mac base. Now I'm not saying that you should switch from T-Mac base or that T-Mac base isn't a very good jump shot base. In fact, I think it's still very elite. But if this playstyle is what you're looking for, quick catch and shoot jump shots, quick reads out of dribble moves, I think this MPJ base combined with the Kobe and Eason upper is the way to go. So I posted a new jump shot a week ago using my career footage on Hall of Fame as a test and people were skeptical because they think that, you know, it's only valid if you use it in direct. Well, I used my Devin Booker build last week and dropped 53 points on nearly 80% three-point shooting in my first game with a 6-5 and up jump shot. But now with this 6-7 and up jumper version, I'm showing you how quick it is from a catch and shoot setting, how very smooth and fluid it is on moving jump shots, and if you are an off-ball mover on offense, just take a look at how I'm able to quickly plant my feet. First, this is one thing I want you guys to remember. Even though you're in a setup position where, for example, I'm setting up here on the left block to post my defender up, I see that different players are converging to my area, so I just move around and try to look for as much space as possible, attacking that open space, moving without the ball, and hoping that my teammate passes the ball. In this case, he did, and we hit a quick catch-and-shoot jumper. Always stay dynamic with your off-ball movement. Here's another situation where I catch my defender watching the ball too much so I just drift to the corner and hit a quick catch and shoot 3. Again, I'm setting up on the left block, my point guard penetrates so what I do is instead of staying in the left block, I just drift towards the corner. Guys, this is an important part of playing in the rec. You're gonna have to go into situations where you don't expect to receive the ball on the first action. The ball handler will typically do a couple of things until he's forced to make that pass so make sure that you move without the ball attack that open space and be ready for catch and shoot jumpers when he passes you the ball so once again this is another situation where the guy with the ball passes the ball only when he has to that cost me a quick and clean catch take a look at this he waited for the double team a little bit too long i've been open for a while this is a 25 percent contested jumper but for me it doesn't matter aside from the quick jump shot release it also has high defensive immunity properties that will allow you to hit through contested shots now this is also something I want you to do if you are a shooter in this game, always move. If you have the ball and you release it to your teammate for a pass, just keep moving. See here my first attack was to cut to the basket. Again, he's playing with the ball a little too long, giving that pass fake when I was open so instead I see the open space up top for a wide open 3 and just take a look at the quickness out of that catch and shoot release. And here's another clip of me making good use of spot finder. Some guys just took up the corner spot so I move away from there, head towards the middle of the court because it was wide open and I don't take a lot of fading threes. Again, take a look at the crowded space here. So what I do is I initiate spot finder tapping R2 to initiate an off ball speed boost and take a look at this off of the curl, quick catch and shoot 
sort of a fading three making use of agent threes and that is a smooth jumper regardless of the situation once again if you like to use moving shots step back jumpers catch and shoot jumpers fading threes fading twos i think this jump shot base is really excellent the footwork on the gather is so quick that regardless of whether you're dribbling or in a catch and shoot situation, you will be able to quickly set your foot up and then rise for that jump shot. Now that quick dip as well. Whereas some jump shots like the T-Mac base has an exaggerated jump shot, the jump shot dip out of the MPJ base is so quick that you will be going from footwork gather to jump shot release in no time. So there you have it, the last test out of the three jump shot bases I gave you a week ago. I gave you something for 6.4 and under builds, 6.5 to 6.6, and 6.7 to 6.10 builds. So I hope you see the science behind what we're trying to do here. Try to look at all the mechanics in the jump shot and not just focusing on the grades too much. And it's resulted into great results, not just for me, but for you as well.